So what we're going to do is we'll go back to our code and let's get rid of this and basically we we'll leave the uh, button the toggle button we don't need to worry about that but what we're interested in in this is this UL and this is where we we are going to be displaying the menu right uh, the last one this over here is a form which will come back later but this is the one we are going to talk about so what do we have over here? We have got multiple menus. Uh, we can get rid of some of them, like we don't need the home. We just need one of them, one one example. And let's get rid of this disabled also. We don't need that. Okay, let's clean it up. Um, we don't want the divider. Again, for child menus also, let's keep only one because we'll be looping through it. Awesome. So you've got this ready. So you've got, uh, so you can see that in Bootstrap, they have done it like drop down for the ones which have called child menus and for the parent menus they've just kept it with the class of nav item and they don't have any drop down options there uh, so we have to set a condition that if it's a parent menu use this kind of structure and if that parent menu has got child menu then use this kind of structure right okay great so what we're going to do is we'll just grab hold of this cut it and inside of this ul we're going to check in fact, not inside of this UL, but outside of it. We'll first check if header menu items, sorry, header menus, if it's not empty, not empty header menus, and it should be array also. So is array, so you're going to use that function. And then inside of this, oops, okay, we're going to add this. Now we'll cut this. And then again, this is the place we'll open the PHP tag. And then we'll loop through the header menus. We'll say for each header menus as menu, oops menu item and inside of this we'll check if it has parent or not like we discussed we're going to find out if this has got parent or not if it's not got parent which means it's a parent menu okay so we'll say if not menu item so this is the key menu item parent menu item parent okay then in that case okay so before we even move further let me just paste that code over here so we don't lose it yeah before we move further we also want to get the child menus right so basically what we can do is we can create a function uh, which gets us the child menu which we haven't done that yet so let's go ahead and do that so how do we get the child menus so let's go ahead and create a function public function get child menu items we want the menu array so we already got all, the entire array which has got both children and parent we just want to filter them out so menu array parent id now there are different ways of doing this you can use array filter or you know the way you like i'll just I'll just go ahead and loop through each item and just push it inside of the child menu array. So what we'll do is we'll create a child menus array, first an empty array where we'll be pushing only the child menus and ignoring the parent ones. So how do we do that? We'll say if not empty, first we'll check. So it's important to do the error handling first. And is array. menu array if it's not empty then always make sure to check if your array is not empty before running a for each loop so best practice okay for each we're going to loop through that entire array that we have the all all of the menu items and we're going to check over here um, int wall int wall we're going to check if menu 
menu item parent equals parent ID okay so what we're doing over here is that we are checking uh, to see if get me all of the get me all of the menus whose parent ID is this which means every menu that parent ID is this get me all of those so of course all of those child menu will only have one parent right so like gallery memories and inspiration all of these child menu parent ID will be the same correct so that's what we're checking over here if the parent ID of of those menus that we are looping through is the same as this then go ahead and push them inside of the child menu so that I get all of the child menus whose parent ID is so and so okay so let's do that so I'll do array push it takes your array that you are working with and what do you want to push inside of it so I want to push that menu okay that's it and then all I have to do is just return child menus that's it and we can just call this function back onto our code so we'll go back over here and we'll come here and then we'll say child menu items equals we already have the menu class on top that we have defined right this one we already have the instance of that so I'm just going to call the function that we've just created which is get child menu items and what does this function ask for this function asks for the all of the menus so all of the entire menu okay which is this so it's gonna get me all of the menus and then I also want the parent ID so in the loop we'll be able to get the parent ID uh, so this will be menu item and then the ID so if you notice in every loop we have the key called ID which will get, get me the menu ID so that's what we're asking for okay so this is gonna get me all of the child menus and if I wanna check it you can check it that we actually get that sprint it refresh yeah, of course because loop is going to break over here uh, it won't really proceed further and the first menu doesn't have children so let's just change that for now let me just do this we'll change that back later but but you get that why it's not showing anything because the first menu doesn't have any child items and its loop is breaking because we said WP die in the first attempt only first yeah there you go so now you can see that I'm only getting the ones which are child menus so I have gallery whose parent ID is the same and then I have the memories whose parent ID is the same right awesome that means our functions are working and I'm gonna put that back to normal how it was before we're only going to go one level deep we won't be going grandchildren okay in this tutorial but if you want to do that you you always know how to do it you can again reloop okay awesome so we've got the child menu and you want to know if it has children or not so we'll say has children equals if not empty child menu items and is array child menu items so we are storing the information whether or not this menu item has children and how we're doing that is basically by uh, checking if the child menu items is not empty and it's an array okay so now we want to check a condition that if this menu has children then okay sorry doesn't have children then use this type of structure like we discussed earlier right so I'm gonna grab all of that and I'm gonna put that here okay and then if it does have children then follow this type of structure else 
Perfect. Okay, and then we need to make this dynamic. So what are we looking for? We're looking for the HRF. So how do we get that? We have the menu item. So we'll say echo escape URL. We have to ensure that we are escaping and taking care of the security as well. Okay, and menu item. And there is a key called URL. So if you notice, this is the key. So this will give me the URL of the memory so that user can go onto that page. Okay, great. And then we have to make this dynamic as well. So I want the title of the menu. So I'll say echo and we have to escape HTML. We have to use the escape HTML for menu item. And then I should have a key called title for this. Let's take a look. There you go. You can see this is the title, right? Awesome. So we've got the we've got the parent menu, and then we want to do the child menu as well. So again, we have to run a loop over here. So what we're going to do is first of all use the same thing, which is for the parent menu. I'm going to use the URL, which is this. And then this is my child menu, right? Okay, so since we already have the child menu items that we have got it by calling this function, all I have to do is just loop through it and print them. So I'll say, say for each child menu items as child menu item and then we're just going to go ahead and paste the anchor tag and let's make this dynamic so we'll just say echo escape URL and the URL will be again child menu items and this will be the URL. Awesome. Let's close this and then let's bring this at a new line. So again, I'm going to use this copy paste and then just make sure that we're pulling it off, pulling off the title from the child menu items. And that's it. Let's go back. And what do we expect to see is that we've got a bootstrap running. Okay, I think we forgot to close this over here. The, uh, we missed this tag. Okay, let's see. Awesome, congratulations. Well done, people. We did it. So we used the bootstrap, all of the classes, the same structure the bootstrap is using, and we, are now, we have now made it dynamic. So this is the menu that is coming from blog, special journey, about, inquiry. Now this gives user flexibility if they want to change something like move this here, move this around here. And now if you see save it and now refresh, you can see it's changed, right? Isn't this awesome? I love it. Now if you check, this works great, awesome, perfect. Okay, so we have finally achieved the custom menu. You have the entire structure of the menu in your control at your disposal. So use it the way you like. You've got the menu items, you've got the child menu items. If you ever want to do grandchildren, again, you'll loop through uh, again over here and probably go for the grandchildren, uh, make a function or something so you can figure that out. But we have finally got the structure of a custom menu. It's wonderful. Great, perfect. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad and do star the repository to support my work. And in the next video, we are going to do the search, basically the search option. Uh, so we'll, we'll deal with this then. All right, so I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye. <music>